All right, it's Friday evening. Beautiful evening. It was a hot, steamy day. We were uh, getting a pretty good sweat on. Pulling honey today. You can tell, you can see the bees. I move the grass. The bees are piled up outside. I was just poking my nose in some of these boxes. There's some honey here. But this hive is a uh, num good old number seven, and we want an after treatment sample. So, here we go. There's our apistan strips. And again, for those that are keeping track at home, this is a hive that uh, has very high mite levels because it has no brood. And so, oh shit, no, that wasn't very really smart. It uh, has ex uh, it's kind of exaggerated mite levels. And because there's nowhere for the mites to hide. I suppose the place for them is to drift into other colonies and infect everyone. But that's not going to be too much of a factor if we pretty much put every bee in this hive into a sample jar. Okay, that's the same thing. Okay, we'll run back to the farm, shake these right now, and then we'll do this. Well, we'll see what we find, but the theory is that we'll do this again in three days, just to see if there's any sort of trend. And then we'll see what comes from that. Okay, after and before. All right, here we are in my barrel room, and as you can see behind me, it hasn't been a complete waste of the summer. We're closing in on our target for yield. Uh, it's going to be about three quarters of last year's crop, which was an excellent year. I don't think we're going to quite a hit you know, average, but so be it. So now we got our samples here. This is the, the, this is the before, and this is after. Okay, I'm just gonna pour it into my double uh, jar shaker here. We might sieve it after, we'll see what we get. Okay. Oof. Oof. That was fun. Our old provincial apers always said, uh, you haven't shaken it hard enough unless the bees start to come apart. I think we might be there. I think we probably want to sieve those to count that. So let's let's do that. 
Make sure we got a clean sieve to start. Okay. No more mites left in there. Well, that might be one. No. Okay. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on. Oh, I should have well, gone and found my jar with the uh, markings on it. I didn't go do that. Stand by. All right. Some some years ago, we took the trouble to mark to count out hundreds of bees, so we get a bit of a pretty good tool for estimating. I should actually measure that really accurately, and then I wouldn't have to go find the same damn jar all the time. But uh, it's more than 100, but not 200. You call that 175, maybe. The 200 marking is right there. Let's call it 250. And that uh, was nine mites. So you know, we're talking you know, three percent, a little bit more. Okay, hold that thought. Let's see if there's any more mites in here. Got nine already. If we did a little bit more aggressive searching. So we're just gonna take that same sample of 250 and we're just gonna really shake it out in the column and for gold, or the whatever the opposite of gold is here. I'd be happy to find gold. I don't want to find mix. Okay. And then, on the sleeve, oh, there's mites galore. Okay. I don't know if that shows up in this lighting. Uh, I think you can see that. Uh, so let's count. Whew. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now I gotta start writing stuff down. Okay, so 27 plus 9 is 38 on 250B sample. So now we're, we're well above 10%, darn close to 15. Okay, and that's the before. Okay, we're not going to bother with the double shaker. Clean this up. Clean. We are going to uh, pour these Pour these through the colander. I need to clean that up. Okay, well, first we want to know how many bees we got here. So we're going to dump the fluid out. And then we're going to just use our handy dandy comparator. 
So pretty similar sample. Maybe slightly less. Let's call that 225. And those of you that are wanting more accurate statistics, send me a self-addressed stamped uh, container and I'll mail you the bees and you can count them yourself. Okay, and we have interesting. Pretty clean. I see one, two. Mites. Well, there's some food for thought. Would Apivar work? Maybe. Time for more testing on more hives. I won't have as much. Well, okay, so now what I gotta do is find hives that maybe I can do some bench top tests on, doing this in-hive sampling. This is pretty quick and pretty dirty. Uh, and it's kind of a one shot, like I don't have any other broodless hives. Oh, I will, I will find them. Uh, so now I gotta, in my rounds next week, start looking for those broodless hives. There's the odd one that pops up when you're going through your final round take some samples of those and then the ones that are high uh, take a live sample and a alcohol sample go back with a nuke there's ways I, I got all weekend to figure out what the heck I'm going to do next but suppose that I show that I had Let's say even 80% efficacy with apistan strips. Pretty tempting to go to give a round of those. Because either that or I go back to apivar and I should do testing on that. I'll bet you I'm only getting 80% efficacy on that at this point. Uh, or a thymol type product, which isn't going to give me any better than two-thirds uh, so 80% starting to look pretty good if you catch I don't have high mite levels yet <coughs> if I knock my mite levels back right now by 80% I'd probably be sitting pretty good and I would have rotated my treatment so there's uh, let me know if you think I'm making a mistake uh, or if somehow my thinking is incorrect but on 225 bees instead of 38, I had three. That's that's moving uh, a decimal point over. That's uh, you know that's 90% efficacy. Um, I'm surprised. I'll be honest. I'm surprised by that. But. Um, not discouraged. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.